This is a segment on cold water swim baits using the AA's two and three quarter inch Bad Bubba Shad and I have it rigged on a Do It Molds herring head underspin jig head without the underspin. All the links to the rest of the gear in this video will be in the description below. All right, so we're gonna start this video off with a snag and you know, I'm not gonna show the full cast retrieve and all that stuff because the video would be just too long. A lot of these are long casts and a long retrieve, a steady slow retrieve. The key is finding that hard bottom. So I got snagged, I was able to get unsnagged and shortly after this, I'm gonna actually catch a fish. So the key is a lot of times, you know, these smallmouth are relating to hard bottom and you know, they're snaggy areas. So if you can get that bait through that area as slow as possible and that's what it is it's a slow retrieve um, and some of the biggest fish i've ever caught have been getting snagged getting unsnagged and that's what triggers the bite especially in cold water man it's like if you can keep that swim bait in the strike zone a little bit longer it's going to produce a big bite so this was a nice fish this is actually the first fish of the day and um, you know the swim bait I'm using here is is a great cold water swim bait it's a two and three quarter inch AA's bad bubba shad which is a hand pour and I have it rigged on a do it molds herring head uh, which is an underspin mold but you can make a swim bait uh, without the underspin as well and so it's it's really good for this cold water swim bait technique uh, here I'm hooked up with another one you know, and these fish are still fighting. The water is really cold. We're, you know, pretty much approaching that time where we're one cold snap away from the lakes freezing. So 39, you know, 40 degree water temperature. Uh, but the fish are still pretty aggressive. And uh, it's a steady, slow retrieve. And, you know, basically I'm fishing a flat. And the flat has got some hard bottom on it. And some of that larger rock, it seems like if I can get that swim bait and crawl it over that larger rock, um, that's where my strikes are coming. So I kind of find a, found a little school here, and uh, you know, it's pretty much continuous. Once you get that school fired up, you can catch a few fish, and it's really awesome. Uh, you know, it's amazing on how aggressive smallmouth are, even in cold water. Um, and sometimes it just takes a, you know, a technique to where you just have to kind of you know, fish it slow and methodical, but what's good about this technique is you can cover water. And that's the name of the game, is just covering water to find those sweet spots. And that was a nice football. All right, so in this one, I got snagged again, same deal. You know, I'm, I'm paying attention to my casts. You know, I found a sweet spot, but there's a couple areas it's kind of hard to get the swim bait through. So I'm snagged. The main thing is just, you know, don't pull into that snag, just be soft you'll see that you can just kind of shake that bait out of there and boom that's right where those fish are going to be i got the fish that what they're doing is they're kind of mouthing it after i popped it out of the rocks you can kind of see that i was almost going to set the hook but the thing is you you got to kind of let those fish load up on the bait and that's exactly what i did i didn't swing too early uh, it's like the fish hit it then they kind of went away but they're following it the whole time and then i just waited for one to load up on it and that's a big deal that you have to do because if you pull it away from them in this cold water, you're going to kind of mess up the cast and, and they're not going to follow it like they would in the summertime. So just be patient. Let those fish, you know, disregard the pecs and stuff, and they will. They'll grab the tail sometimes, but then as soon as they load up, you know, set the hook. And that's exactly what I did with this fish. Um, and they all bite different. You know, some hit harder. Sometimes, you know, they, they'll mess with it. But that's just smallmouth fishing. Um but literally, you know, I had this one area and I could make this exact cast and I would get bit. And uh, it's, it's cool because, I, you know, I was fishing a new rod. This is the Dobbins Ecstasy, the 753. And, and man, I tell you, when you're fishing cold water, you know, the bites can be so subtle sometimes. And man, I could feel them breathe on that swim bait with that rod. Um, you know, and, and part of it is obviously using the braid. I'm using a 15 pound Gamma Torque braid, 10 pound Gamma Edge fluorocarbon leader with that AA Bad Bubba Shad. And uh, man, it's a lot of fun. 
So here's another one where, you know, basically this fish just inhaled the bait and uh, I just kind of leaned into that fish. Didn't get as good of a hook set as I'd wanted to, but you know, it was one of those situations where, man, the bite was so light. And uh, when, when you get caught like that, a lot of times you just have to lean into it, pressure set it, and then just keep pressure on that fish when you're fighting it. And that's basically what I'm doing. I'm taking my time, keeping steady pressure on that fish. And if you do that, you know, most of the time you're gonna land those fish. Um, the good thing that I have here is that I'm using a good hook in that swim bait mold and it's basically, it's a, a 3 ot Gamagatsu style 604. And, uh, you know, my landing ratio, even on a bad hook set, is, is very high with that hook. Um, another thing is I'm using a new reel from Luz. is the Custom Pro Speed Spin 3000. Um, holds a lot of braid, long casts, and... You know, it's it's got a high gear ratio too, which is nice because it allows you to keep pressure on these fish. And look, you can see that fish was barely hooked, but he got in the boat. So that's the whole deal. You use the right hook, the right equipment, tackle, and you're gonna land big fish. Fine Fish is brought to you by Dobbins Rods, Optimum Baits, Gamma, Costa Del Mar, Thayer's Marine, Ima, Triton Boats, Mercury, Garmin, Do It, Reigns, and Lose.